Hi, and welcome to the full Monkey Wipes tutorial. First, some basic terminology. A build is everything that's created after you click Do It. You can do multiple builds in one comp. A layer is the final result of a build. There could be one or more layers created in a build. The split is a pre-comp that contains a piece of the original asset. The source is where all the splits are reassembled. The way effects are assigned to the splits is called grouping. This is really the core of how the animation will look, and you'll see how grouping ties in with most of the other sections. To understand the process, it's best to start simple and do a bunch of quick builds. We'll set the source to layers, splits to four pieces, groupings to one, and flow left. Since it's just a single layer, we can ignore the multi-layered section. Pick a palette, and then in transform and wipe, pick left, and intensity medium. And click do it. This will give you a simple animation of four pieces or splits, all doing the same thing. The duration of the wipe and the transforms are dictated by the speed section. Technically, what's taking place is that the square has been divided into four pieces, pre-comped, and a silhouetted solid is placed at the top of the layer stack in each split. Each has a linear wipe transition applied to it. The square is then reassembled into a pre-comp called the source. There, a move left transform effect is applied to each split. Now keep in mind, that's a 2D effect. That's not a 3D effect actually applied to the layer transformations. This lives in 2D space, not 3D. Then it's put back into the master and a set of transforms and transition effects controllers are placed on the master layer that are parents of the effects that have been applied in the pre-comps. Once a build is created, if you want to adjust the effect, you can do that on the master layer. So if you want to adjust the angle or position, that's where you do it. Once Monkey Wipes creates a build, it will shy the original assets and place them at the bottom of the layer stack. Okay, we'll undo that and let's introduce some variables and make a multi-layered build. We'll change the transform and wipe to random and the flow to random. The result is an animation that's still consistent, all squares animating in the same way, but since they're assigned random moves, wipes, and flow, each square is animating differently. For the next step, we'll change the grouping to four and rebuild. Now the results get more varied. Since there's four groups now, each group can be assigned its own set of effects. We've built random options into almost every dropdown. Using one or more random settings can totally change the character of an animation. I encourage you to experiment with that. Start with a simple controlled setting and then start introducing the variables. It should all make sense pretty quickly. Before breaking down some of the individual sections in the UI, I'd like to go back for a second and spend a bit more time talking about grouping because this is really the core of Monkey Wipes. Why is it so important? Well, grouping controls how much variety the animation has, whether you're talking about just one layer or multiple layers transitioning one to the next. Think of it this way. Layers built with only one group will have a single set of effects applied, even if everything is set on random. The end result will be that it will have a defined character. Layers built with multiple groups will have a mixed character to them, and tend to have more subtle differences when transitioning from one to the next. If you're looking for a variety with not so much repetition, you might want to mix between multiple groupings, some with one group, others with more. In that case, a random or min-max setting is a good option. The result will be that some animations will be simple and others more complex. Okay, so now let's talk about timings and offsets. Monkey Wipes has two sets of offsets. The first one, the offset between splits, is handled by the setting in the work area. Each split will be equally offset within the work area, triggered in the order assigned to the flow dropdown. Then there's the offset between multiple layers in the same build. The multi-layer section is responsible for that, but if you're only building one layer, you don't have to worry about this section. By default, the automatic sequencing and automatic offset are active. That means your monkey wipe layers will be triggered once the previous layer is almost finished animating. If you turn auto off, then the manual offset becomes active and you can dial in how much overlap you want between layers. If you set the offset to zero, then the next layer won't start animating until the previous layer finishes. If sequence is deactive, then all the layers will animate on all at once. You could also manually adjust the offset there too. If you're working with layers, and the order you select them in dictates the order they will animate on in. If nothing is selected, then Monkey Wipes will just animate on whatever it recognizes from the top down. 
If you want to have one layer covering up the next, then make sure to place that layer at the bottom of the layer stack. Select that one first and then select all the ones above them. Next up is the colorizing section, which is defaulted to off. When active, it will place a fill on each split. The way it assigns the fill is controlled by this dropdown. You can mix up to five colors or use one of our preset palettes. Last is the resolve tint, which gives you the option of having a single tint effect fade in as the animation resolves. It's applied to the master layer, so like the other controls, you can go to the effects panel and adjust the colors there. Transform and wipes both operate in a similar way. When active, they assign effects and eases to the groups and the dropdowns are organized in blocks made of single effects, followed by various preset combinations of those effects. So for example, left and right moves are grouped together to make horizontal moves. Transform has an initial dropdown that wipes doesn't. You can dial in the strength of each transformation. In the case of position, it's based on the percentage of the comp size, but scale and rotation are hard numbers, which can be adjusted in the effects panel. There's samples of all of these on the FAQ page, so make sure to check that out. So that's an overview of Monkey Wipes. As I said at the top of the quick start, the best way to learn this is by playing with it. Make sure to check the FAQs and user manuals for more information. From Warren Zucker, I'm Dan Everts. Thanks for watching.